Uh, hello, everyone. I'm presenting Silicon Valley with frijoles. What is that, you might ask? <laughs> well, Silicon Valley can be said to be many things, but one thing you can compare it to is a tortilla with a lot of frijoles and salsa and vegetables. Why? Because the tortilla is the valley, frijoles are the talent in the people, and then the salsa and the vegetables are, you know, technology, the universities, etc. It's really a combination of many things, and that's what the presentation is about. We're going to go back 200 years really quickly, and this is going to be very fast because we only have five minutes. 1814, <laughs> the Industrial Revolution um, in England. Oh. Wait a second. Okay, Industrial Revolution in England. The ingredients, they had a physical cluster there, innovation, culture, entrepreneurialism, urban workforce, and access to capital. It was, a, it was like today in, in Silicon Valley. That's how it was back then in England. And, uh, you know, what developed there was amazing, and it changed the world. And, uh, you know, if you go into that time, England had that development, but the rest of Europe didn't. So the, what we call today developed nations really were undeveloped nations. They were not industrialized. So going back to 2014, we have the digital revolution. It's a very similar thing. I mean, we think it's something special, but it has happened before in a different way. Now it's different tools. You know, it's digital, it's technology. But um, what are we looking into? Well, we have a very developed, not northern England, but Silicon Valley. That's where we're here. And it's full of great companies and it's, you know, wonderful things happening. But can this be transferred to the rest of the world like, you know, in the Industrial Revolution, it was transferred to most of the world? Well, I'm saying it can be transferred and that, you know, we're trying to do that in Guatemala, which is, you know, a bit down south from uh, Silicon Valley. And uh, if you've never seen it, well, that's Guatemala City. It's a beautiful place with great weather, but not too much technology so far. But... So I said, okay, uh, after my experience here in uh, Silicon Valley, um, I said there must be some ingredients, same as in the Industrial Revolution, that can transform Guatemala. I mean, am I going to find them? I try to look for them. Okay, first there needs to be a physical cluster too, same as here in the valley. Um, there has to be a culture innovation. I wasn't sure if there was. There needs to be entrepreneurialism, technical talent, and access to capital. So after a few years that I talked to people in the technology sector there, I, I felt that there was, you know, those ingredients were possible there, and so I embarked on this project, which I'm presenting right now, called Campus Tecnologico, or Tech. So, well, first thing we did is uh, we set up the, uh, you know, physical space. It's a seven-story building. It's about 30,000 square feet, and uh, the idea was to fill it up with uh, all kinds of uh, software and, and technology companies. You had to be a, a, a company that developed technology to be there. And we wanted to have from a one-person company to the mid-sized and big companies uh, in Guatemala. So uh, that's, that's the building. We, we have a, so we, we, we started that in, um, the, the building opened up in mid-2010, 2010. So it's been about almost four years. And we, develop, we have an incubator there, you know, which has graduated about maybe 30 companies, you know, from one, one and two-person companies. And we have a little accelerator, which are small offices, and that has also graduated about 30 companies. So they, they sort of start in the incubator, go to the accelerator. And then, you know, we have co-working space and, and office space uh, of different sizes. And you can see, you know, these are offices in the, in the campus in, in tech. You know, you can see uh, all kinds of uh, software and development companies we do from, you know, uh, mobile apps to drones even. You know, there's, there's some really exciting stuff happening. Uh, stuff that you could see, you know, this, this would be a typical office here. It's starting to look like that down there. So um, we, we managed to bring a university. Uh, Universidad del Valle is the, the uh, top technical school in Guatemala. And they set up uh, one of the floors that's occupied by them, and they teach courses on the new technology that's coming along. And, uh, you know, kids take advantage of that. And they can, can go down one, two stories into the classes. Then we made a, an e-garage which is uh, sort of the social space and also for presentations, which I'm flying through this, but um, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, you know, uh, boot camps and uh, pitch contests, uh, business plan competitions, well not business plans, but, but funding competitions. And we have a nonprofit, oh no, we have a fund. We're starting a fund uh, with somebody from Silicon Valley who's been a successful uh, um, entrepreneur and uh, we, we have, we're say, making a seed fund that should open up by the end of this year for, uh, for the companies uh, found, uh, based in tech. And we have foundation, which is uh, basically to make sure we, we also see the social part of it. And we have great surroundings, you know, where uh, people can walk in the streets. And 
as was mentioned before, it's important to have fun. So we have a lot of events, functions, uh, lunches, and people love it there. I mean, we've, uh, you know, we've gotten a lot of press from uh, the New York Times and other periodicals. But the, uh, the key thing is that we've created an ecosystem, which, you know, three and a half years afterwards, I, I'm very uh, proud because it's something that, you know, was just not even thought possible in Guatemala. And uh, so all these things make up that ecosystem. And right now, as I said, we have about 30,000 square feet. About 45 companies are in the building just built, doing some great stuff. There's about 70 companies remote that come for meetings and for different kind of events. And we have about 400 people in the building. They're all, you know, 20 to 30-year-old uh, software developers. Um, and in 2016, we're going for phase two because the building is absolutely full. And we're looking at a building three times the size. And we hope to start that by the end of the year. Um, so that's, that's going to be the, uh, the tech companies. We're, we're looking at 130,000 square feet, 150 companies, uh, 250 remote, and 1,600 people. So this is, our, uh, the, uh, um, this is a um, statue we have when you enter the building, which is a man coming into the light. You know, so like technology brings peop uh, people into the light. You know, it brings uh, progress. So what's our goal by 2020? We want Guatemala to be a technology hotspot that uh, creates opportunities for thousands. Thank you so much.